Hey everyone, Luke Ruth here today. I want to show you how I clean the live wells of my Nitro Z19. It's summertime. Fish care is very, very important. It's very hot outside. It's hard to keep these fish alive. So today I'm going to show you how I clean my live wells and what you can do to keep your fish alive in the summertime. Let's get to it. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah. First off, we just need some basic stuff. We're going to need a towel. I've used this towel before. You're going to need a sponge, some non dish soap. What I always use, Dawn some bleach, and a garden hose. We're gonna open these live wells up. Woo wee, you can look down there and see all the crap in those screens. Down on the bottom of that live well, it's stinky stuff, and that stuff's all in your system, guys. Um, I need to get this out of here, so we're gonna start, we're gonna fill the live wells up and uh, get some water running through these things. And we're gonna make sure we turn our valves to closed. Very important you keep your valves on closed. That's going to allow the water to not drain out of the back while you're trying to do this. We want to keep the water in there. We want to run it through the system, through the recirc pumps, trying to get all that stuff cleaned out. So let's get to it. All right, I've just figured out you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to pop these uh, caps out of place in there. They usually screw out, but I guess on the new boats they pop out. So you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to help you get these uh, covers out of there. All right, I've got both these caps out now. They are disgusting, clogged full of stuff. So we're going to start the process now. First key orders, fill your live wells full of water. I got a garden hose here. That's what I'm gonna do, just start filling them full of water. I'm also gonna take off my Cal Coast coal system. It's pretty dirty too, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in here. Along with the screen, we're gonna get them good and clean too. All right, it's about half full now. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bleach and the soap so it starts to clean it. It's just an eyeball, guys. There's no exact measurement on how much. That's probably plenty. On the bleach. And on the soap. Just get a good enough bit. You get it in there nice and good. It's probably plenty. Now we're going to let our hose finish doing its job. Kind of get that all stirred up and soapy. Now we got all that done, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get our sleeves pulled up, we're gonna get our scrub brush, and we're gonna start scrubbing. Everything we can, those cold clips, the bottom of this well, we're gonna scrub it all. We're gonna get nice and clean. Underneath side of this lid. I'm gonna spray out these uh, vents with the garden hose get them looking back to factory boy it looks a lot better than it did it was full of shad pieces and it wasn't good spray off these cow coast clips all right we're gonna start draining water out of it and while that side's draining so i can see what else i need to clean we're gonna go ahead and fill this side up got a kink in my hose No idea what I've done with my sponge. Man, the old lady about to be pissed at me on that one. Hm. Using two sponges. Stuff's expensive. Don't do that. I just can't stress how important this is, guys. Um, Especially like giving the bass a bad disease to leave these live wells dirty. So cleaning them every couple weeks is very, very important. In the colder months, they don't spit up near as much. But when it gets hot, they throw up stuff in the bottom of your live well. Lots of feces, lots of stuff like that. A lot of slime. Their slime coat comes off of them. So very key to clean your live wells, especially during the hottest months of the year.
All right, we're gonna repeat the process we did on side one, on side number two, letting it fill up. We're gonna scrub it. We're gonna get in there nice and deep with our sponge, and then we're gonna wipe it out with a towel after we're done. So let me go finish doing this side, and I'll show you what I do after I think I've got most of the soap and stuff out of here. All right, I've got this other side done. As these are draining, I like to keep my sponge right there, and I'm just gonna keep a si an eye on the walls, guys. I'm gonna look for spots I've missed, debris I've missed. That's why I'm gonna get grab that sponge, go back over, get those spots I missed. You're not gonna get it perfect on the first try, so. But we're looking pretty good so far, so let's let these finish draining and see how we ended up. All right, everyone, we got most of the soap out of this side, so we're gonna go ahead and with the with the hose, and we're gonna spray the rest of it out. Key number one for me is to get all the soap and debris out of my live well. They say this stuff is safe for ducks, but I don't think it's safe for bass. So we're gonna take a minute and spray this out really good and get every bit of the soap out of this live well. All right, y'all, now we are 100% drained out. We still got a little bit of soap left, but what we're gonna do before we get all that soap is we're gonna spray that screen right there. We're gonna spray that screen out to get all, all the crap out of that screen. All right, y'all, as we can see, we're drained back out. There's a little bit of soap. Now we're just gonna gently start spraying with this hose so we get all that soap residue out of the live well very gently light spray you're just trying to get the soap out of there you're not trying to clean anymore it's as clean as we're going to get it here's just a day's fun fact for you for y'all looking to take a bubble bath at home hot water makes more bubbles and cold water dissolves the bubbles i don't know why that's a deal but it's a deal you don't believe me try it out so anybody looking to take a hot soapy bubble bath at home, you want more bubbles, turn that hot water on, son. You ready to get rid of the bubbles? Turn the cold water on. All right. All right. I lied to y'all this whole time. Them research screens do come out. I guess I just didn't have strong enough hands to get them out. That one at least is locked in there. I got this one out. So we're going to go ahead and give it a quick spray up, get it cleaned up, and get it ready to go. But this side's completely sprayed out, so now we're going to reinstall our screens. They just twist in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. We're gonna grab our other screen. Where'd they go? Uh oh. Lost screens. Now we gotta find the screens. I bet they're in here. Nope. Not in here. Aha! They're back there. Now we're just gonna take this little screen and we're gonna pop it back down in the hole down here. Okay, that one's set. This live well is done. It is clean. We are going to let it sit out in the sun since it's 110 degrees and let it bake for 35 minutes till perfectly crispy. Wow. This side, the original side we started on, has got a draining problem. I'm guessing there's a bunch of crap in that drain. So I'm going to try to let most of the soap get out of it and then we're going to spray the heck out of that drain and try to get all the crap out of there. Something I didn't show y'all on the other side that I do do, I forgot to show y'all, is that recirc valve right there where you got that off. Go ahead and stick that hose in there. Put a sheet water out of that research pump. I'll get all the crap and nasty out of your research pump. Do that for about a oh, minute. And uh, as you can see, we'll clean that the research pump out good. There's a little bit of crap in it. Not much, so we're looking pretty good. We're about done. All right, I think we're done with the hose. The last thing we do is, you see, we got all the water drained out of our live well. We're going to pop this other plug back in. Don't forget to pop your plugs back in. Have crap down your lines. That's what was the problem with this one not draining was. This is my main white light well I use, and there was a lot of crap down that plug. I put a lot of bass, crappie stuff in this thing since I cleaned them last. So now what we're gonna do grab our rag. We're gonna wipe this thing dry. We're gonna get all the little water stuff we can out of here. All the rest of the leaves and sticks and fish scales. We're gonna wipe that sucker down clean now. Last important step. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna leave them open, we're gonna let them dry for probably an hour, hour and a half, or after we take a nap and eat a sandwich, we'll come back outside and shut them. But hey everyone, that's just how I clean my nitro live wells. Um, if you guys got any more questions, you wanna see anything like this, be sure to tell me down in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to try to get a video on it. So until next time, we'll see y'all later.